Hi. Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. I have to say it in the dumbest way possible. Either you say it really fast or you say it really dumb. There's no in between. So anyways, uh, well, we're going to be playing this game again. Can you believe it? It's another day, another dollar, so let me hear you holler. <laughs> I forget, did I even get a Temperance Persona at the end of last segment? I'm gonna be so mad if I did. Uh, Mithra is Temperance, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, embarrassing moment avoided. Anyways, we're gonna be talking to, uh... Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? I actually feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm sorry, I need to... I need to check. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me, I feel like I'm forgetting something and I don't know what. We accepted all these quests. There's not like a one I need to talk to someone, right? We already finished the cat guy. Yeah, we uh, feed the cat I can do. Alright, alright. Just, I just, I really, really felt like I was forgetting something. Oh, I know what I forgot. Duh. Fucking duh. Of course. I mean, the, the, the close call, guys. I almost forgot. We gotta get the bait. Can you believe I almost forgot to get bait? I would have had to reload for that, so it's, it's really good I remembered. <sighs> Close call, though. I need to start cycling my saves better. Yeah, get... I already got the bait. <sighs> so, so most people would say, the last few minutes didn't happen, I'm going to restart the recording. But not me. We're going to commit to that, that stupid, embarrassing forgetfulness. It's not even that big of a deal, but whatever. Fuck it. The eerie, you better cheer me up. I'm in a fucking... I'm in a tizzy. What is a tizzy? What does that even mean? Whatever. You helped out at the daycare center again. Mister, let's arm wrestle. I'm the champion. No going easy on me. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. You're understanding, and you, yeah, yeah, whatever. Good afternoon. Oh, it's you. Avery Coon, was it? You, Coon, are you getting along with Mr. Avery? No. You don't have to come pick me up. You can... <sighs> Do you like children? Uh, I'm on the fence. Or I hate kids is the answer. <laughs> I, 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 I used to be the person who would say I hate kids. I'm just gonna say I'm on the fence. Because I guess that's more what I'm at. Truthfully, I don't like... I don't hate them. I just don't like dealing with them. You know, hate is a bit of a much... Is, is a bit much of a word. You know, like, that's how I feel. It's like, children can't really help being children. For the most part. But, you know, so I'll say I'm on the fence. Children seem to like those kind of people. I was watching a TV special, and they said, The outstanding father is the man who isn't conscious of his children. The fuck? That's... I don't agree with that. But whatever. Ari started talking eagerly. <sighs> it's so tiring. I don't hate him. Capital B. But! <laughs> like, okay, sorry, just... <laughs> do you like him? Of course I do. Ari is looking down. I didn't like coming here because I'd run into the other mothers, but... <laughs> Aries smiled weakly. You felt like you could understand Aries' feelings of loneliness a bit. You know, like, okay, I'm gonna say it. If this game wants to reinforce the idea of you're being thrust into a role and you need to accept it, I feel like this is one of the few instances where it's, like, fair. Or at least, like, it's, it's kind of, like... I, as a person, can agree with that eerie, whether or not she likes it, does have to be this kid's mother now. 
You know, like, at the same time, I get how it's unfair for her, but, like, and and I don't necessarily think that, like, it's just limited to her. I've been, I've been fucking critical of Dojima this whole time, so let's, let's be clear, it's not a sexist thing. <laughs> but I feel like if you're going to do that, parenting in general, that is the perfect, like, you have to embrace this role whether or not you want to. That is the perfect one to go with. But not like, oh, I don't want to do the thing my family says to do. You better. Oh, I don't know if I want to be a sex object. I don't know if I want to be an idol that has, like, basically no depth or humanity. You better. <laughs> like, like that shit doesn't work for me. But, like, parenting, I feel like this is why... This is why Eri works so much better than Dojima, too. Is because Eri has a more sympathetic situation where, like, she never intended to be a mother. Whereas Dojima... Uh, even if it was... Even if he was accidentally knocking up his wife... His, what's his wife's name? I forget. Who cares? She's dead. Uh, even if it was an accident... <laughs> okay, sorry. Even if, even if it was an accident. Even if, even if Dojima knocks up his wife accidentally... Like, they've been... Nanako's, like, what, seven at the youngest, nine at the oldest? Like, he's had time to cope and be like, okay, I'm no longer the most important person in my life. And and, and he hasn't done that. I mean, yeah, sure, he puts up a token, like, Nanako's the most important person ever. But like, his actions don't really reflect that. Whereas Eri, it's like, it's coming to terms with that is hard for her because she never really intended on this. And it was thrust upon her. So, I'll, see, see, so that's, that's my thesis. For why this social league works and why Ari, or why Dojima's doesn't. And also why parenting in general would have been a very smart way to handle this. Like, this theme of accepting what society has said of you. Although, I think that in general sucks, but whatever. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> I have so much to say. And not enough time to say it. Actually, I have plenty of time. This game's like 70 billion hours long. Whatever. Are you Yuda-kun's mother? Do you think it's okay for Yuda-kun to be alone? It's been getting dangerous lately. As a mother, I wouldn't leave my child alone. Even if the new caretaker is young, right? There's so much unsaid there. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Then, if you'll excuse me. I mean, granted, there is a bit of a point that, like, you know, Yuta running off is kind of dangerous, but whatever. You finished your job and went home. You earned 8,000 yen. Hooray! We're getting money again for all the money we spent last time. It's funny how I did that Margaret rank up and I didn't even unspeed it up. Who gives a shit about Margaret? Like, really? Are you taking a test soon? I had a spelling test at school today. That actually reminds me. Like, for whatever reason, I have this really strong memory. I went to my f best friend's house when I was like seven or eight, and he had an older sister. I think she was in fifth grade at the time of this happening. She she was like bragging about her spelling bee, or not spelling bee, spelling test results. And she, I just remember for whatever reason, she specifically mentioned that she spelled strengthen wrong, or right. And she, apparently that was the one that a lot of people got wrong in her class. So she was like, yeah, I spelled strengthen wrong, or right, God, I keep saying wrong, right. And she mentioned something about how she crossed her T. Specific. I don't I don't know. There's something like that. But so for whatever reason, of all the things in my life, I just remember hearing that offhand. Because she was bragging about that to her mom. She wasn't even like talking to me or my best friend. So. Anyways. <laughs> remember when we were making progress in this game? So Dojima's busily turning the newspaper. He's yeah, whatever. I'm doing this because I have to, Dojima, not because I like you. Let's be clear. I really do dislike this Dojima quite a bit. He, he, he really is like, there's not very many redeeming things about him to me. And I and I used to feel oppositely, but... Well, not oppositely, more just like I used to think he was more balanced, but now it's just like, I don't like him at all. The newspaper article. Oh yeah, I found it. Were you worried about it? What was the Dojima voice? I don't remember, who cares? It's about Chisato. Chisato! That's the corpse's name. <laughs> the corpse bride, am I right? My wife. When she was killed by a hit and run. I told you before, right? About the case where we never had a suspect. Get it now? There's nothing more I can say about it in this house. So I know that we're not exactly made of money. 
But don't you think you could maybe talk to your boss about, like, if they have, like, a, a, a work, like, type of, like, therapist or something? Like, okay, again, like, small. it's a smaller town, so maybe, okay, whatever, let's not go on this tangent. <laughs> let's stop there. Then let's go outside. I think is the answer. No, it's even if it's about family. I think let's go outside is the answer I normally say. <laughs> just to be a smart ass. But even if it's about family is the answer. Avery. <sighs> Sheesh. Dojima sighs. She. Nanako's mother was run over on her way to pick up Nanako from nursery school. Jesus. The <laughs> is it just me or is it saying Nanako's mother was run over? Like, Jesus Christ. That's so... <laughs> I guess it's like, it was hit by a car isn't necessarily better, but like, run over has such a more like... <laughs> Am I fucked up for thinking that? Like, there's such a, like, more implicative imagery to that. <laughs> like, like, that really just, like, oh, I'm gonna pick up the- Ah! Jesus, like, just, just, you just hear the- Boom, boom. <laughs> Am I insane for- Am I crazy? Am I the only one who thinks that that's a little bit of a word choice? <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know what's, like, what's come- like, I've never noticed that. I've never thought about it twice, but now I can't, I can't, like, not pay attention to that word choice. Okay, whatever, let's move on. It was a cold day, and there were no witnesses, so they didn't find her until much later. Jesus. Forgot about that. Until they got word to me, Nanako was waiting all that time in the nursery. All alone. This is like a shitty knockoff Akihiko voice I'm doing for him, but whatever. He doesn't deserve better. Waiting for a mother who would never come. I can't really do Dojima's voice anyway. I couldn't tell Nanako that her mother was killed. That her father, whose job is to catch criminals, couldn't find a single lead. Do you really think that's what she gives a shit about? She gives more of a shit about you being home than about her fucking mother's killer being brought to justice. Does she even know her mother has a killer? Like, it, from the sounds of it, you haven't told her what happened. Which is maybe not the most responsible thing to do in the first place, because she's not stupid. But whatever. I feel like there's so much about that that really, like... Like, I get it. It's a character flaw that Dojima has this, like, pride about him. Where he's unwilling to admit he's made the mistake and he keeps trying to fix it. But by doing that, he just makes more of a mis Like, he keeps digging the hole, basically. But it's like, it's at the same time, the game never really addresses that part of it. Like, they never have the part where, like, okay, we need to sit down with Nanako. And actually let her know what happened so that way we can heal as a family. Which is the healthy thing to do. Instead, it's just like... <sighs> We'll get there, we'll get there. But I haven't given up. I'll catch the guy. Again, this is also unhealthy. I don't need a private life to do that. Nanako will understand. She clearly doesn't right now. She's mad at you all the time. I mean, not all the time, but she's like, you either disappoint her or you make her mad. And like, the rare times where you two get along, it's like fleeting. That's just an excuse. Yeah, bitch. Fuck Dojima. Dojima's biting his lip. Sorry. Leave me alone for now. Why? So you can go punch a wall? Fucking pig idiot bitch. Anyways, Avery. Thanks. Yeah. Well, that went, that went. Anyways, that's Dojima. So now we got to do midterms or finals or beginnings or whatever they call it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I never remember which is midterms and which is finals. It feels like there's, okay, finals, it's finals. Because I guess summer's coming up. Yeah, that makes sense. I should have read that, but I just didn't feel like it. Alrighty, time to ace our fucking finals.
Finals day one. What is the root of the word pen? Um, too sus. I can't think of a funny joke answer. If you chose the correct answer, alright. Where does the term ham originate from as it pertains to acting? Um, from a pig's hindquarters. Bad actors receive me. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet they did. Horrible actors meeting. Now that's a little bit of a clever one. I like that. Hooray. Although, why the fuck would this be on a test? Whatever. I, I'm sure you could say that about like half the shit in, in the Persona games that's on midterms or finals. Hell, even stuff they go over in class, but whatever. Finals, day two. What is the name of the Japanese poetry collection that contains many poems by Kaki no Moto no Hitamaru? Uh, Kokuin Wakushu? No, Man Yoshu. Man Yoshu. I mean, Kojiki. Man Yoshu. Hooray. What philosopher stated law is the correct judgment of the state? That's Socrates, isn't it? I'm not even looking at my answer key, by the way. I think it's Socrates. Yeah, it is Socrates. Well, it's not that impressive because I've played this game multiple times, so I'd be a little embarrassed if I didn't remember it. I think I'd, like, walk back my, like, little, like, oh man, I remembered. Oh no, never mind, I've played this game before. <laughs> if I hadn't played this game, it'd be a little bit more impressive. Not, like, super duper, but at least it'd be like, eh, whatever, fuck it. If this was Trails of Cold Steel... Although, Trails of Cold Steel doesn't really do this ever. It does, okay, it does it occasionally, but whatever. Trails of Cold Steel, now there's a series I might let's play. <laughs> oh, you fuckers thought I was serious, didn't you? What purpose did Blue Eyeliner serve for the ancient Egyptians? Uh, inside Trapella. Let's, 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 we gotta start speeding this up. Feel you've chosen the correct answer. Define the meaning of resentment. Uh, is it superior? Jealousy of the superior, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, I guess superior wasn't the one I should have been checking. It was anger or jealousy. But jealousy makes sense. Because it's Yosuke's thing. <laughs> According to Persona 4 Arena, it's a uh, Yosuke's thing. Not that I dispute that. I don't know. Whatever. Finals day four. Got, gotta get some more. Which of the items cannot be harvested in the Andes mountain range? Watermelons? Melons. Of the water variety. And then this one is Nautical Dawn is brightest. Hooray. Let's just, let's just skip it. Nautical Dawn is brightest. Hooray. Alright, and last finals day with some cutscenes. Hooray. We're also going to start a new social link today. Are you guys excited? Because I'm not. It's the last day of the exam. You answered every question with ease. The answer seemed to be flowing from your hand. Hooray. That reminds me. I forget what I did. Uh, I, I, it's been like two weeks, so I forgot what I did with Yukiko and Ayane. I think I did Yukiko in place of Ayane, didn't I? Whatever. I'm so sleepy. Uh, so I actually need to pay attention for responses here. So, um, I need to say my pen was on fire or I didn't get a single one at some point. To get courage and then just you wait and see for expression. So I need to remember that so I don't have to redo this shit. Uh, yuck, don't yawn in my face like that. Baby girl, you're like a full five feet away from him. Hey, for the third question on the English test, which phrase did you choose? Um... Oh, I went with used to. Oh fuck! I said 17.38! Wrong again... So much for Chie going abroad. Heck, why leave Inaba? You have so much right here! Oh, you are so annoying! Yo... No more encores. I mean, hi everyone. That was endearing. Whoa, more losers? 
What do I need to know English for? I can always ask for a translator. How did you do, Senpai? My pen was on fire. Uh, or I didn't get a single one. What do I need more, actually? Um, I have a lot of time for courage. I really do. Just you wait and see is probably better. Because expression is more necessary in the short term. The only thing I need max courage for is for a social league that we don't start until, like, what? October, I think? So yeah, let's just say just you wait and see. You evade the question in an adult-like manner. Hooray. I significantly increased. Damn. Whoa, are you that confident? Wait, confident about what again? Enough about the exams already. What's going on with the murder case? Hmm. Why don't we head to our special headquarters? We haven't been there in a while. Special headquarters. You decided to get together at the June's food court. Not just because exams are over, but the whole thing with the police finding a suspect. I mean, we believed that only we could solve this case, and now... Well, we still don't know yet. They haven't made an arrest. So, we gotta set on our thumbs. nice to have a suspect, but where the hell is he? We're at the end of our rope here. You guys, did, did you hear what I said? Ah, <laughs> this case is as good as solved. Don't worry, kids. It's only a matter of time before we bring in the suspect. I mean... The guy's kidnapping people at random and slaughtering them. We won't rest until we bring him to justice. Yeah. I gotta get going. Now, I'm really worried. On the other hand, if the police have a search warrant out for the guy, we should stay out of it. Yeah. I, I wasn't even paying attention, I'm sorry. When we get to these cutscenes, my brain turns off and it's like, oh, this shit again. Oh, uh, I just remembered. There was a oh, question on the exam that I didn't get. I think it was the chemical formula HCHO, used for silver mirror reactions. Its 40% solution is known as formalin. And the question was, what is HCHO? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think it matters. Uh, ascorbic acid is what my brain wants to say. Oh, I see. I chose acidic acid. Duh, of course it couldn't have been vinegar. Hey, you had that question too, didn't you, Kanji? Shut up. Don't call me by my first name. Oh, oh, he's mad. Wow, kind of harsh, aren't you? I heard you got a nosebleed when you were around our senpai. Hey, who the hell blabbed about that? But anyways. Rurise-chan, why don't you ask Yukiko to help you study? Hmm? I guess, but wouldn't you rather ask a senpai of the opposite sex? Senpai, I'm not a nuisance to you, am I? Yes, you are. Damn. This girl's dangerous. No, you are. Let's change the subject. Hey, any idea how Teddy's doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention it to you. 
Check this out. It's Teddy. Oh boy. I let him stay at my place. In return, he's now our official store mascot. Ah, so he's hiding in plain sight. Reverse psychology, huh? Sure. Man, he looks like one happy bear. He kept saying that he didn't want to go back, so I made him a deal. Now, since I've got nothing better to do, I'm gonna go bug him. Ooh, I want to go too. Can I feel his soft fur? Hey, Senpai? Now that I'm getting the hang of school, I want to go out more and see the sights. But I tend to get recognized everywhere I go, so I'm a little nervous about going out on my own. And you seem like the type of guy who knows all the cool spots in town. <laughs> I so do. If I have the time. Really? Woohoo! Cool. You said she says easy natural friendness. Friendness! Natural easy friendliness. That was gonna be one of the worst fucking line reads I've done in a while. He's into fame. Oh, whatever, fuck it. <laughs> you all knew it was coming! some time to kill think of me okay yeah 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 now come on let's go pester teddy teddy hey we have a special report. The topic is the bizarre serial murder case in Inaba, where the victim's bodies are discovered hanging upside down. Police have yet to announce any progress in the investigation since the discovery of a third victim. Our special report tonight is a summary of the events and the facts in the case thus far. Adam? Um, I don't know if this matters. I don't remember if it does. I think I'll protect you is the answer I have to say. Uh, I want to say it shouldn't matter, but it probably does. I'll protect you. Okay. You promise, right? Oh shit, I'm supposed to read that. Sorry, sorry, I'm spaced out a little. I'm sorry. I I should probably, uh, I should probably, like, take a sec to split the segment and also, like, refocus. Because I'm so, like, something about cutscenes in this game really fucked me off. So give me, I'll be back in a moment. Again, it'll be instantaneous for you guys. So, fun update. Um, as, as I took that break, I got a call from my boss. Today's my day off. And I was called to come into work. So now it is several hours later from when I cut the segment. Uh, very funny timing. I guess it's not 
I, I mean, I'm not, like, mad I had to come into work. I'd much rather would come in than not, but... Well, just, it was slightly inconvenient, but also kind of convenient. Anyways, I skipped today's, like, little intro just so I could save immediately, but, um... It's just a day off, basically. As, as you know. As you know. So anyways, today is Sunday, so let's check what Tanaka's selling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you selling? Uh, kitchen knife, not fucking buying that. Second made popular juices and salt. Yeah, I'm buying that. You only buy one of them. I only have so much money. I mean, second made combo speaks to me. I mean, if nothing else, it's, it's probably more useful even if I am using y Yosuke, which I'm not. But hypothetically, even if I was, there's no guarantee that kitchen knife is going to be very helpful. Giant candy could have been nice, though, but whatever. Anyways, today is Sunday, uh, so we started Rize Social Link, The Lovers. I made such a not big deal about it, it's kind of funny in retrospect. My energy really did just dip in that last, like, third of the recording. Well, I guess the last ten minutes before this, but whatever. Um, so first let's get bait. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so we started Rize. We're going to be ranking her up today. Uh, I've, I've said this... Actually, I don't know how many times I've said it, but I feel like I've mentioned it enough. Risei is probably the most, like, useful social link to get, like, raised up immediately. Even if you don't like her, which I don't. Spoilers. Sorry, I, I don't like Risei. She's... She's... I just don't like her. We'll, we'll get into why eventually. In due time. But, uh, yeah. So we want to rank up Risei. The guide's making us rank her up anyways. But, I mean, if you're playing this casually... She is almost certainly going to be someone you want to prioritize because her rewards for her social link, like the skills that she gets, you'd be surprised how useful they can be. Like, sure, she's a navigator. What, how useful could it be? She doesn't get follow-up attacks. Yeah, but she's going to get stuff that will trivialize the game or make it way easier to deal with in general. And we want that. We want that shit badly, so. Anyways. Oh, Shenpai. <laughs> of course, let's spend the day with Risa. Uh -huh. Right. Have I decided on a Rise voice? I don't think I have yet. Whatever. If it's bad, it's bad. We're just gonna live with the consequences. Sozai Daigaku. You came at Rise's earnest request. I can't take another bite. My stomach's full. But that really hit the spot. I've been wanting to come here. But it's a little embarrassing to show up alone, you know? Uh, three is the answer? Yeah, three. Just order takeout. Gee. How little you know, Senpai. It's the atmosphere that's important. The meal itself isn't everything, you know. Risa's voice is swelling with pride for some reason. You made her mad, so you got points. Hooray. To tell you the truth, I've wanted to do this since I was a child. Okay. My parents were actually pretty strict. I didn't really have many friends. Though I guess that couldn't be helped since I hardly ever showed up for school. Uh, that's enough talk about that. What a depressing subject, huh? Let's talk about something fun. After all, I don't want to waste the time we have together. I'm leaving. Like, has anyone told you that I leave in spring? Time's ticking. <laughs> Sorry, I just I wanted to give her like an anxiety attack. Anyways, it's so great that I came to this town and met you. Really, I'm serious. Risei smiles naturally. You feel the relationship with Risei has grown deeper. See, like, at first it might seem like I'm being kind of bitchy. But, like, you'll see. You'll see. You'll understand. You'll, you'll get it. Yay, ring two. Hooray. So, why don't I start by asking what kind of girl you like? Men. Let's go, Senpai. Dealt with Rize's barrage of questions until it became dark, then went home. Dealt with the barrage. Like, Jesus. Rank two. Whatever. And then, because we just earned points with Nanako... You may feel like forever ago for me, but I know you remember that. Welcome back. We're now gonna rank her up. Hooray. 
Uh, Naga's talking about her mother, blah, 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 blah. Hooray, we have enough expression. We'll spend the evening with her. Yeah. Hooray. You decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. This is a conversation her father should have had with her. But who the fuck... When, when, when has her father been her dad? <sighs> I see. This is hard. But I get it. Thank you, big bro. Nanako is nodding her head cheerfully. Is there anything else? Well... Um... Oh, there is. Nanako's eyes are gleaming. I just realized, do I even have a justice persona? Whatever. I don't- I didn't see the message, but whatever. What happens to a person when they die? I don't know. Hmm, I see. Even you don't know. Nanako looks like she understands. Oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? I don't know. This has been a really illuminating talk for you. I see. You're not a bad person, so I guess you wouldn't know. Nanako looks relieved. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes. So dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to dad than I am? Yes. Also, I just realized, shit, I was off a question. Um, shit. Shit. Uh, it was, okay. Let me, let me, re let me explain where I'm from. So it was 2233. Three, three. I said 2. I accidentally. Well, it's not that I accidentally said 3. It's that I thought I was on the third question when she asked, Where do people go when they die? So you're supposed to say heaven. Uh, it won't matter. It probably will matter. I might have to reload. We'll find out tomorrow night, because tomorrow night we're going to be raking her up again, allegedly. So, uh, I mean, I've gotten a lot of points with her just in this one sitting, so. Whatever. So it was two, two, three, three. So this is the last one. Three. He's protecting you. I don't get it. I feel like I don't have a justice persona if I'm only getting single notes. Ugh, whatever. It seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. You feel that you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. I really do need to double check her. Like, do I just not have it? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I could have sworn I had all the personas I needed for this session. I remember explicitly, like, that was what the whole deal was with going to the Velvet Room. But at the end of the last session, but whatever. Let's talk about something else, big bro. What kind of girl do you like? You decided to talk about something different with the lonely-looking Nanako. Good night. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Hooray. And now we're going to get the exam results. I am waiting with bated breath to find out what we got. Well, first we have to do this. Oh. Oh, good morning, Avery Hey, have you seen the weather report? This rain's going to lift in the afternoon, but they said it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Wouldn't it be a good idea to check the midnight channel, just in case? The culprit's already wanted by the police, but he's someone the police can't handle to begin with. Let's check it out. Yes. Let's let everyone else know too, okay? Hooray. Oh god, here it comes! The moment of truth! Oh no! Shut up, PSK. I'm, I'm preemptively telling him to be quiet. Shut up. Alright, so, so give me those social link bonus points. Give them now. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. I don't even like that song. For the fucking record, I don't even like Metallica. And wait for it. The highest score, motherfuckers! 
I am. I am. I am the smartest bitch around. Hooray. So now we can get a reward from both Dojima and Nanako. It's win, win, win. Anyways, I do need to check if, uh... Do I have a Persona for Justice? I don't. That was the one Arcana I forgot. Wow, awesome. Epic. Well, I guess we're gonna find out if I need to fucking redo all that. I probably will. In fact, I'm 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 going to preemptively No, I'm not gonna preemptively. <laughs> but I'm like I'm nearly positive I'm gonna probably have to redo that. Because Nanako's point thresholds are pretty high if I recall correctly. I mean you should not you should never be seeing single note rewards if you have the corresponding arcana. So that was the hint right there, but whatever. Yo. Yo. Yes, of course I am. I how else will I build my diligence, Kosan? <laughs> Yasugami High Gym. Hooray! Hooray! I just realized I still need to get a fucking Justice Persona. Even if I hypothetically. Motherfucker. Even if I hypothetically. <laughs> God damn it! Because it just occurred to me I can't get a Velvet Room Persona. I can't go to the Velvet Room at night. So I still need a Justice Arcana, even if I hypothetically can rank Nanako up. God damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna restart here. Yeah, fuck this. So after 70 hours of backtracking, we're back. Samagawa River. Well, not backtracking, actually. Replaying. Whatever, you know what I mean. Ko wanted to be by the river, so you stopped by on the way home. This place brings back a lot of memories. The first time I came here was also my first time in town, right after the Ichijo family took me in. Ichijo. I don't know why I said it weird that time. The sky was totally clear, except for the setting sun, and the light hitting the water made it shine. It was beautiful. It helped me decide something. I thought, from now on, I am an Ichijo. I convinced myself that the old me was dead. At least, that's what I thought. But you were just a kid then, right? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? A little kid thinking like that? But I guess even kids have stuff on their minds sometimes. Funny thing is, I never really became an Ichijo. I looked, sounded, and acted like one, but it was just a mask I wore. And now that I don't have to even wear that mask anymore, I guess it's time to step off the stage. Well, that was a that was a bit of an extended metaphor, but the point remains: don't jump to conclusions. Well, I haven't reached any conclusions yet. Besides, I'd never just wander off without telling you guys. Ko smiles gently. I'm glad I'm glad that if he is going to wander off, he'll at least let me know. <laughs> it just makes me feel kinda empty, knowing that my real parents are dead. It's like I have no roots. We should go visit the graves after practice sometime. I wouldn't even know where to find him. I've got the letter, but whoever wrote it didn't sign it. They didn't even mention my parents' names, either. They didn't mention, not didn't even. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> whoever handed you over to the orphanage wrote that letter, right? Wouldn't that mean they've been holding on to it for like 10 years? It's pretty rough asking someone to remember what happened 10 years ago. Ten years ago. You're still carrying that thing? Yeah, well, I can't let anyone at the house see it, so... Huh? Huh, the name on the front. 
Kosama is smeared. Like someone rubbed their hand against it. Maybe they just wrote it in a hurry. Plus, the corner of the envelope is sharp enough to give you a paper cut. What do you think? It was written recently, of course. You think so too? Co nod seriously. What does this mean? I think the head of the orphanage must have written it. When I visited, she could probably tell I was depressed. Hey, cheer up, man. Even if it is a fake... Uh, it sounds bad to call it a fake. But she didn't do it to pull a fast one on you. No, you've got it all wrong. I'm happy. I'm glad there are such nice people out there in the world. Maybe the letter is true, or maybe it's just a nice lie, but all the same, someone was there to give birth to me. Someone was there to raise me. And someone is there to watch over me like this. I thought I had no roots. No ties to anybody. But that's not true. Took you long enough to get the picture, stupid. Stupid! I know you are, but what am I? I'm the one who told you that you'd always have us, stupid. Well, I'm rubber, you're glue. Ko's eyes are red, but he's laughing. It seems you were able to support Ko when he needed you most. I'd feel if I was Ko in this situation. Like, you know, doubly so, I don't know what I would do if I was the head of the orphanage in this case. You know, knee-jerk reaction is to say I wouldn't have made a fake, and I would have like, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'd be comfortable lying to someone on that level without you know, like, without any type of, I don't know, it, part of it would feel wrong to me, but on the other hand I, you know, Daisuke's right. You can't really deny it was done out of compassion. It's like one of those white lies, but this feels like it's too grandiose to even risk lying about. You know, it just it feels wrong to me. And if I was Ko, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would also feel happy that someone just feel that considerate. But I'd also feel like, mm, not mad, it's just like... I don't know, it'd be a really weird experience to... Like, it'd be a really weird, like, myriad of emotions to feel. You know, like, because there is truth to that letter. But then also being in the position of, like, someone's willfully lying to you about something that sensitive instead of giving you the honest truth. Like, something about that would really not sit well with me. And again, like, even, even regardless of the compassionate intentions, I would still feel a little bit like, you know, if, I, if there was nothing, I would rather know there's nothing. You know, I would rather know that my parents just quite frankly, like... Yeah, I would, I would rather have nothing to show for it if that's what there was, rather than being told a pleasant lie. You know, and it's... And I think that's unfortunately emblematic of a lot of Persona 4's, like, problems, is that... Mm, I kind of wish that this, this development had happened maybe a rank sooner, or maybe, like, maybe in the middle of the rank up or something, or so socially, so that way we could kind of unpack these emotions that are probably here. But the, the game kind of just wipes it away with, oh, Ko's happy because he finally realizes people care about him. Which is nice, but I feel like that's a surface level reading of it. Of this type of situation. And I mean, it's a little weird to say Persona 4 is doing a surface level reading of Persona 4. But I think you understand what I mean. I don't know, just like, I, I do like the social link quite a bit. It stands out as one of the better ones in the game, for sure. But I always have felt a little iffy about this part, you know? I've always felt like there should be maybe just a little bit more lingering on this, like, this, 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 this deception. And deception almost feels like the wrong word for it, but I guess this, this, this compassionate lie. I don't know, it just, it feels like Persona 4 likes to, to only go halfway with its interesting concepts, and then it just, like, like, what if Ko wasn't happy about being lied to? 
what if we explored that, you know? Like, he's happy, therefore we don't have to entertain this idea anymore. He doesn't have to explore his identity anymore. Like, I don't know, it just... I don't know, I, I don't want to sit on the screen forever, but that's that's just how I feel. <laughs> Man, you've got a really ugly mug, you know that? Want to go for a swim, ugly? It'll be like old times. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, we used to play around here, didn't we? All right. How about you? You want to go for a dip? Or want to go for a dip? Uh, anyways, the answer is I I don't have an answer here. The answer is I, I don't want to go get what? Don't fucking don't, no. What? Like you have a choice. Whoa, it's freaking cold! You horsed around into the river with Ko and Daisuke and then went home. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be mad. But whatever. Obviously, it's uh, it's guys being dudes, etc. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's rank you up, non non and Ko. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to talk to, to Dojima too. But yeah, so now Nanako's gonna give us a best or a reward for getting the best score. And it is a very good reward! I'm not reading this, by the way. Paper armband? What the fuck? That's terrible! Um... No, shut up. Shut up, Nanako. How dare you ruin my, my happiness with your shitty little arts and crafts. Let's see how bad your terrible accessory is. Oh, paper armband. Why don't you? And it's great. It's actually great. So, yeah. I do. I am gonna kind of miss Snowbow just because hitting with with Bufula was doing a lot of damage. But this is just gonna be such a quality of life thing. It also means now I don't have to be married to using a Bufu persona. Not that I was ever really against using it, but it's like now, now if I need to sacrifice Bufu when fusing, this is less of a tie. So yeah, now let's look at our beautiful stats, our beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous stats. I just realized. Yeah, I, I just realized. Parvity. Po po poverty. Poverty. Come here. Yay. Our stats don't look different. Because he hasn't applied the buff yet. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, let's go talk to Nanako now. Hey, Nanako, your gift was wonderful. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh my god, you're so nice to me. Yeah. I forget. Did, I didn't see. Did it say we are going to rank up? Okay, good. You decided to watch TV with Nanako. It's a documentary about a young man searching for his real father. Nanako is staring into the TV. Real father. Hey, big bro. What do they mean by real? Um, so here, two, one, and then three. So two, but I don't, I don't, that's not what they meant by real. I mean, they literally mean someone related to you by blood in this case, so I feel like I'm lying a little, but whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. Then you're my real big brother. Nanako looks really happy. And Dad's my real father. <sighs> but I don't think Dad really loves me. Maybe... Maybe I'm not real to him? Daddy doesn't come home because I'm not his real daughter? Did he say that? What was the answer? See, this is what I mean when I say Nanako's being neglected, by the way, but... She fucking... She, she doesn't ever see her father and she fucking gets yelled at half the time when he is here. Like, Jesus. Did he say that? No. It looks like Nanako has stopped worrying. Mommy. Why'd she leave me? When mom was still here, we all went out together. We picked flowers at Samagawa. Nanako talked a bit about her memories. You understood Nanako's true feelings a little better. Ugh, 
I, I feel like this is so... It's sad, but it also feels just a smidge manipulative, but whatever. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how to feel. Let me put it that way. I don't know, like... I just... Yeah, the Nanako stuff is, is, is like... I, it's sad, but it's also, it just feels like this, this character... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to put it into words right now. Yeah, whatever. Hey, big bro. It's about Nanako's bedtime. What should you do? Listen to her talk. Yeah! Okay. Um, well, today I woke up... Not gonna look like she's having fun about telling you about her day. Cool. So now I'm probably gonna stop the segment soon. Uh, I hope we're not gonna hit a bunch of cutscenes, which, in retrospect, we probably are. But yeah. Summer vacation starts tomorrow. Woohoo! Too bad it's raining. The forecast said that it was going to last until the evening. Well, it'll let off by tomorrow morning. By the way, it's raining. Did you realize that it's going to be it's raining? Midnight channel. I wonder if we'll have a nice clear summer sky tomorrow. Oh, well, it's not like I had any plans or anything. I guess I could watch Tanaka's Amazing Commodities and see if there's anything I want. I don't know what it is about that show, but I always wind up buying something. I even end up buying something. It's the one that always goes XXYXY. Have you seen it? Yeah, whatever. Honestly, I think I'll just, like, if I get that chance, I'll just save now. Alright, I understand that you're all excited about the vacation, but please head over to the gym immediately. I won't say anything mean like someone I know, but please do what you're told. <laughs> I'm excited about summer vacation too. I already bought my swimsuits. Not that it's got much material to call it a swimsuit. Well, enjoy your summer vacation, everyone. Oh, and don't forget to do your homework, okay? Right. Awesome. Great. Lunchtime. Hooray. Ah, shit. I think I have to actually do this rank up. Yeah, I have to do this rank up first, because cause I have to actually accept your invitation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go to practice. Cool. Yeah, so I guess I'm committing now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so much for saving. Can a bitch save first? Ugh. Whatever. I mean, at least it's just one rank up. It's not like it's gonna be 17 minutes of cutscenes after this, right? 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 Yes, I got me high music room. The band members seem jittery about today's performance. Is oh shit! I have to hear the voice. That's right. Fuck. Okay. It's finally here. Uh, uh, I'm so nervous. Oh, we're gonna be here for 20 minutes at this rate. Senpai, will you please watch the room for me? I'll give it my best shot out there. <laughs> I want to come back with my head held high. Everyone here? Yes. Alright, then let's do this. But first, we have a surprise guest. Oh, come on, can the theatrics. Takaru, how's your arm? Are you okay? Takaru? That's the trombone player who's better than Ayane. 
Yeah, I'm fine. It's practically healed already. It was a close call, but I'll be able to play. We're gonna tune up on site, right? Yeah, but the trombone part is... Like someone died. What I miss? What are you gonna do, Ayane? Huh? Oh. Well. Uh, I. Oh. I get it. No big deal. I'll sit out this time. I think Takaru should play. He's better and he's more used to performing in public. You guys are with me, right? We can't afford to blow this. The other members are remaining silent. Uh, what do I have to do here? Probably two? Uh, oh, it's... No, it's one, I meant. Sorry. I, I meant... I meant Sika for Ayane, mentally. But I thought that was the second option. Uh, Sika for Ayane. You explain to the other members how hard Ayane has practiced. Your expression has significantly increased. Hooray. Ah, oh, what a stirring speech. Wasn't that nice of him, Ayane? Uh. Uh, um, um. Well, I don't want to force it either way. Ayane, I'll leave it up to you. Go ahead and do it, Takaru-senpai. <laughs> it was your part in the first place, and I'm not as good as you, so... Please, take it. Uh, well, if you say so. Alright, then let's get going. Head over to the bus out front once you're ready. Good luck, everyone. The band members packed up and left. What, we're not going with them? I thought we were in the band too, but whatever. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I must look so stupid. I... I must be stupid. I honestly started to cry. See, like, I kind of, I kind of feel like that was a social situation engineered to set up this moment, and it doesn't work for me. Like, I do feel bad for Ayane, but like, like, a hundred percent of the time, Ayane should have been the one that goes. Like, okay, even if we assume best case scenario, when Takaru went out, was like what rank four or something. Like, that's okay. The difference between now and that rank up, that's at least three ranks. That's at least three days. Again, the, the you know, you could assume, okay, well, what if the player just did all those rank ups in a row? Like, like, you know, you're, that's, you can't do all three in one week, I think. Because, like, just the way it works out. So, like, best case scenario, Takaru has missed a week of practice. And it was with the fact that he couldn't even play while he was out. So, the fact that Ayane has been practicing is just, like... Like, okay, even if hypothetically Ayane is worse than Takaru, which we have to take the, the text of the game, like, for all intents and purposes, the text of the game is stating that that is true, so we're going to take it at its word. But, so, it, even if that is the case, though, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Ayane has been practicing and knows it, like, like she's been practicing more frequently. She has been attending more rehearsals. Like, 100% of the time, Ayane should have been the one that goes. It's not even a slight, like, it's not even because I like Ayane. Like, I'm just saying this is someone who has been in choir, who has been in theater. Like, the person who has been to more rehearsals is the one who does the part at the end of the day. Even if they are not as good, you want a consistent performance. You want someone who is not going to fuck up. The person who has more consistently performed in rehearsals. Hypothetically, if, I, if Ayane had been, like, 
if Ayane had been, like, really shitting the bed in, in practice and, like, doing sour notes and people have been coming up to her like, Ayane, you're not doing it right, that's a different story. Then we can talk about, okay, Takaru is the better player here. You know, now we need to consider quality. But as far as the text of the game is showing us, Ayane has been going to practice, she has been putting in the effort, she has not been making egregious mistakes. There's no reason she should not have been the one to go. Sure, that pushy senior is another case of Persona 4's asshole NPCs, but, like, she doesn't even have a point. Like, she literally is not even correct. Like, wh why would Takaru suddenly know the part better than Ayane when she's been practicing more and he's been out for fuck knows how long? Like, you have to remember, hypothetically, the player could have done this social link like us, and this could have been over the span of a month or even fucking, like, three months or something. So, it just, it just doesn't make sense. And I don't want to be, like, bitchy about it, but it's like, that's why I've always disliked this rank up. Well, it's just, this social league in general just doesn't work. Because this conflict just doesn't feel organic, it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel like this is, like, how this would work out in real life. At the very least, like, having him come back the day of the performance... And then be like, oh, you're playing again. Like, if he had come back, like, a week before the performance or something, or, like, the next rank up was the performance, I could at least buy it. But literally, he comes in on the day of the performance, like, oh, fuck, Takaru, you gotta go. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, again, I want to repeat. The person who has been at practice and been consistent in rehearsals is the person you bring with you. So, I'm, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but, like, I this is why I've never liked Ayane socially, so... Anyways, let's, let's continue. Nothing ever goes how I imagine it. Trying to, like, fake cry while doing this voice is hard. Give me credit. It's no one's fault, but time after. <laughs> time. God, this is so awkward. I hate having... Why did I do this to myself? Ayane is weeping. Like, see, I feel bad for her, but it doesn't feel like it's earned. Like, okay. Like, obviously her character, you know, whatever, feels bad for herself. But, like, this moment doesn't feel very earned. Oh, it's pat her on the head. So anyways, we're gonna hold her. Hold her. Send my... <laughs> okay, we're done. I only started crying harder. I'm sorry. I mean, it's natural to feel this way. You basically got put on blast by everyone in the club, and they revealed they basically kind of hate you. Like, you have to hate someone to do that to them in public. Like, no one stood up for her but us. Like, they all hate her. So, whatever. I thought I could finally see my dream come true. To think my music might have actually reached out to one of those people. I thought this was it. That dream used to feel so far away, but for a minute there, it was close enough to touch. I know it sounds like a childish fantasy, but it's much deeper than that. It's more like a purpose. So, so, I can't help feeling bitter. It's, 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 it's like, it's like, girl, did we really need to have this, like, really orchestrated, uh, pun, this, like, okay, this really manufactured situation, just to have her realize that asserting yourself is good sometimes? <laughs> it's so funny. I've never thought about it like this before. Whenever I've felt bitter, I've known it was for the good of the band, so I was satisfied with that. But that song ran through my head day and night, constantly, no matter whether I was awake or asleep. If I had even a few minutes, I'd practice. My arms started aching all the time. This is the first time I've really invested myself in it. Before, I always figured it was impossible. 
That's why I'm bitter. But letting myself be bitter makes me feel good. It's hard. To explain. Senpai. I hate this Thank voice. Thank you very much. I hate this fucking voice. Thank you for standing up for me back there. That made me really happy. But I couldn't imagine pushing Takaru Senpai aside so that I could. I'm sorry. I feel like I've changed a little. And it's all because of you. Sure. Sure. You feel like I got a strong fondness for you. Your relationship, eh, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Anyways! Anyways. Hooray. The Ayane Matsunaga social link has reached level 7. Your power to create personas in Sun Rakata has grown. Oh. I just noticed that we're the only ones left. Yeah, and I'm gay, bye. Gay, comma, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a bad thing that I didn't go after all. You spent the remaining time at Ayane, who tried to keep- or it spent the remaining time at Ayane. At school with Ayane, who tried to keep smiling. Let's go home. You decided to go home. Well, that only took 70 million years. What's it with me and the number 70 today? Oh. Okay, bye. Can Dojima please exist? I would like the fucking money he's gonna give me. Whatever. Alright, so next time we're gonna be doing... Things and stuff will occur. It will be very, very scintillating. I will see you then. <laughs>